Okay, hello friends, this is Rainer again. Welcome back to getting yourself organized with org mode. Today's video is a bit different than the other ones because I promised you I want to show you a sort of Christmas special. You see it's December 24th, it's Christmas and I want to show you how do I, that's me, use uh, the org mode in daily life. So let's start. This one is me. People that follow me on uh, YouTube or Twitter or LinkedIn know this avatar and about my life. Well, I'm married with a nice wife. We have a daughter that is 16 years old now. Uh, we have a son with 14 years. We have a dog that also wants to go out twice a day at least. And we live in a small house. And living in a house means a lot of housework. And my hobbies, well, it's reading and it's music, doing, playing bass, playing guitar and so on. So if I sum that up, my, my private things, they end up in a file that is called Privat. Or Privat is German for private. So I'm uh, happy with this. Then to get the money for all my private life I have to work. So I'm working as a software engineer. I'm working with open source, mainly uh, Linux. Uh, my job is to uh, help customers uh, doing Linux projects and I also have to do uh, hardware testing and uh, evaluation and at the end we do hardware certification of our machines that we produce. And if this all sums up, I have two org files. One is called work.org, where all the projects and so on are stored. And I have one file that is called schedule.org, where I put my uh, weekly or, or frequent uh, meeting appointments and so on. And you see there is still space on the right side. Uh, this is for my third area of interest. I'm the president of a, a sports club that is called Thomas Schützenhauenstetten and we do sport shooting. So we take pistols and guns and being the president means I have to take a bit care of the money of the uh, shooting club. I have to do the, the accounting on the PC and I have to do reports for our members. We have around 75 members at the moment and we have to see that things go up and that nothing is, is breaking and so on. So it's, it's uh, like a management job. And if I sum up this, I end up in a file that is called THS.org. Okay, so I take those three files. This is really my, my central storage for all the tasks and projects that I'm currently working on. And for everything I have uh, a set of agenda views, customized agendas. The one for the job, for work, they start with W as work. The ones for private things, they start with P, like private. The one for the shooting club start with V, that's uh, German for Verein, and those two I mix up in an agenda view that starts with F, like free time. Everything I do in my free time will end up in this agenda, and then my daily habit is that I talk the agendas in the morning and I create a plan for it. So I have one file that is called planwork.org where I have stored all my most important tasks uh, as a checklist for all days since 2014. And the same is true for my free time stuff. So the free time agenda ends up in a plan free org. That means everything I have to do at home ends up here. Uh, important to know, it's it's not only things that come from the agenda that end up here. If I have uh, something to do, like let's say cleaning the house or doing the laundry, 
I don't put this in those files. It's it's useless to put a, a frequent thing like a doing laundry or so in a in a sort of controlled execution environment. Uh, I mean, if I know in the morning there is a big basket of of uh, uh, dirty clothes to be washed, and I just add a extra point that says do the laundry, and that's it. Okay. People always ask, how do you synchronize your files across your PCs? Because uh, you see, I have an office PC, I have one at home, I have a smartphone, and I want to access the files from, from every device. So, the easiest solution that I took was uh, put this all in the cloud. I have used Dropbox for that, but you can use practically also own cloud or whatever cloud storage you have. The important thing is your, your cloud uh, system does the uh, synchronization. So you have a file that is uh, both on this machine and this ma Oh, sorry. Um, ah, this is... Here we are. So you have the, the, the thing really on uh, all your machines you have access to your files that are in the cloud and they get synchronized whenever they change and for my custom agenda views that I use I have added a file that is called all global EL uh, Emacs Lisp file and this one is also stored in the cloud so that I can import it from my office PC as well as I can import it at home from my PC. It's just a, a line in the Emacs initialization file that says load this all global EL from the cloud storage and then I have all my custom agenda views and all my capture templates and so on. They are really uh, available on both PCs. So next thing is people ask me how do you capture ideas? Yeah, of course, it's easy when I'm on a PC. I just have to open org mode and uh, press my F6 hotkey and get a capture template and that's it. There's also a chance that you capture with your smartphone. There's the mobile org app and a mobile org app is, is good for capturing uh, quickly ideas and uh, to see your agendas. But uh, honestly, I'm not using it very often because, uh, okay, it's good from the point that you can do it, but it's uh, bad because it's slow, at least for me, from, for my uh, feeling it's slow because I have to get out the, the smartphone, I have to open the app, I have to enter the thing and then I have to type on a, on a very tiny keyboard. And that's really, for me, it's a pain in the ass really honestly. So what I did to capture ideas on the road was I bought myself a, a six size uh, notebook that I can carry around with me in my backpack, uh, back pocket of my jeans. I have it always with me and uh, whenever I have an idea to write down I, or can write it down, I can even do nice drawings in the notebook and as soon as I come back to any of the PCs, I can take those ideas and add them via the capture templates and then they are in the system as well. So, people uh, asked about more what I'm, I'm filing. So I start here just with the, the private area of interest. You already know about the, the central task storage and my daily plans. But I have also other files, that is, one is called logbook and one is called journal. Those are for the things that happen to me that are not so much uh, related to tasks. And, uh, but I also want to write them down. So the question is, why do we have two files? The answer is easy. The logbook file is... Uh, also capturing all the what the fuck moments that I have in life. So when, whenever something bad happens to me, uh, I also write it down in my logbook and uh, I write down uh, very emotional here. 
So this is the reason why this one is locked. Uh, I don't want to show it to other people. There's the other thing. Uh, I have a journal that is more or less uh, writing down meeting minutes from whatever meetings uh, that are not related to any tasks and uh, other things. And th th this one ends up in a, a journal and the journal is uh, open. That's something I could also show to my boss. I wouldn't show the logbook to my boss because maybe there is written uh, the boss is uh, really a pain in the ass sometimes and so on. So what I also have is a checklist, a weekly review. I have a file that collects all the weekly review checklists that I have and I use them well, I have a, a, a template that, that I just call, I want to do a weekly review that adds to that file and then I open that file and I can go through the checklist and at the end I have checked off every point of my weekly review checklist and I have recorded the time that I needed to do that and so on. And last not least, we have those archive files because when things are done here they end up in archives. It's either a global uh, archive for the private or the work file or we have special tracker files that says I have an uh, archive file track all the books that I have read and so on. You, you rem remember that from the examples that I showed in my videos. And finally <coughs> I have another file that is global over all uh, what I do and this is called goals because I have defined some small goals or some big goals or whatever, lifetime goals and short time, long time and so on. And those goals uh, file has uh, links to my uh, task files. So if I review my goal file, I could really see what tasks did I assign to make this goal come true. Because the goal without a plan is, is just a dream. Okay, this is uh, all for the theory. Thanks again for more than 600 subscribers on YouTube. That was really a surprise. And now let's have a look quickly at the files. Here you, you see my uh, plan free org file. You see it starts somewhere in 2014, August 2014. I made some things and then 2015 and so on and here is uh, for December this month. Today we are here now soon I can uh, cross off this uh, episode 7 is in a bit too fat, re prepared. Uh, what you see what's nice in this uh, daily plan you have a, a set of more or less uh, many tasks that you really want to do this day and uh, where you really want to spend time on and sometimes it happens that it doesn't work out because something happens you get sick or you get uh, interrupted or something more important happens so you see I have days where I didn't complete what I was scheduling in the morning and if I look here you see there is one thing, I, I should have tidied up the living room but I was really exhausted so I said okay forget about this today and I just write a comment, I uh, couldn't do that and so on. So if I look at the right uh, part of, of my day overview I, I see the green days that were really nice and I completed everything I wanted to do and I have those red days uh, that are still yeah you see something happened something bad and in my weekly review i just uh, say okay let me see the, the 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 near past how good did i perform do i have more days with red that means something is wrong i have to adjust something or is everything like i wanted to do and then it's better so let's go to the private org file so that you see it here I have made it uh, a bit in how to say topics there is the, the financial thing 
because I have to do a budget, I have to, to, to control what I'm spending my money on. There are my hobbies, you see there is playing bass, play, playing guitar, and if you see in the playing, playing bass thing, I have defined an archive file track bass learn org, so I can see whenever I have finished something down here, I can archive it in that file and I see what did I complete so far. You see I also have a someday thing and there's a project. Then we have a part for health because I have to, to take care of my blood pressure, I have to do some other sports and so on. This is the, the practically the maintenance of, of my household that we have to do a cleaning of the uh, dishwasher or the washing machine or whatever maintenance work. There is uh, more maintenance if something gets broken or so, you, you want to do something on that and so on. Here is my screencast, you see now I'm working on episode 7, the, the bulk agenda actions are already recorded and here we are now, we present my own uh, org notes uh, setup and this is what I still have in the pipe that I will do sooner or later, here is my to read list for the bugs that I want to read or that I have read and this is a capture target whenever I capture a to do or someday it ends up here and I can refile it somewhere in my file okay what else we have that journal work arc where at the moment I write down comments on my weekly review because I want to do have a sort of, of uh, management summary, what was good this week, what was bad. So this is what I'm doing here. Good, I have done everything, bad, I slept too little and so on. And you see, journaling is dated back to 2013, October. And we have a other file that was the logbook that is the more rude thing or even not rude uh, this week when I was preparing the other video for the bulk agenda actions I learned that scattering is only working if a log reschedule is off or set to, to timestamp but not uh, set to take notes or and timestamps so then I have my review you see there is my, my last uh, weekly review from last Sunday where I have my checklist that says empty backpack, get, go, go through all inboxes, do a first brainstorming uh, what could be added to your system, then go over the action list, look what's done and so on then go through your calendar data, check all the waiting actions if something moved on and then check your goals and your project list and so on. Look at your goal files finally and then review other checklists that is my, my plan work or my plan free org that uh, say okay let me see how good was my performance in the last week and create that weekly review journal entry and write down what was good what was bad and uh, then we go over the someday maybe list uh, if something should uh, be transformed into a real to do or if we say we cancel it because we don't need it anymore or so on and at the end I do another five minutes of brainstorming if I have uh, some greater ideas that should be also added to my weekly review uh, to my to my system. So this is practically my thing. You see I have the goals file that has one, one primary lifetime goal that is keeping myself healthy. I have some long term goals because uh, working in the garden is, is not something you do in the next five minutes and uh, learning to play bass is one of my, my long term goals that means Practically, yeah, practicing every day, but even practicing every day, it takes uh, some months or even years that you are a good uh, musician. Then I have some medium-term goals, 
and some short-term goals that are mostly uh, related to my work or to my shooting club. So, at the end, that's it. So we can go to our daily plan and say, okay, thank you, we are done here. And you see this one is a link because I have a task in my private org file. So if I click on the link, I'm ending up here and I can say control C, control T, done, everything done. You see, and I store it, and that's it. You see, practically easily doing all the things. You have one list for the day, and uh, next time thing that I do now is practicing the base. So thanks for watching. Thanks for having the patience. This one was a really long video. It's 21 minutes at the moment. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, feel free to ask them. And uh, I'll be back because you see we have still some things to discuss about. But this will take another few days. So let me celebrate Christmas with my family and we see either next week or next year. Thanks for watching and have a great time.